Hello, my name is Trudy and I'm going to be taking you through a seated workout today. So this is a wake up and shine workout. It's just going to be a short workout to really get the heart pumping and get those joints moving. So we're going to do this workout from sitting down. So you will need a sturdy chair. So make sure it's a nice heavy chair. Make sure you've got a little bit of space just to bring the arms and legs out to the side and we shall get going. So I'm just going to pop on some music. Go at your own time and pace. Now you can go faster than me or you can go slower than me with the workout. Entirely up to you, right. So we're going to sit on our chair nice and tall. So we're using our core muscles to support us. So we're sitting nice and straight. Spine is nice and long. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see me. Shoulders are down, then the crown of your head, I'll put a hook on the crown of your head. Lift up that hook and see how instantly you're sitting up nice and tall. This is how we should sit all the time, but we never do, we do this. So no slouching, sit up nice and tall. Nice deep breath in through the nose. Reach up, exhale, bring the arms back to the side. Big stretch up, so don't let the shoulders creep up. Slowly, slowly. And we're gonna do two more, bring it up. And down. So really think about your posture and can you feel how your core muscles are supporting you as you're sitting nice and tall. Now give me a shoulder roll, roll, roll. So remember, any movement is good. You want to keep everything nice and mobile. One more shoulder roll, now reverse. Bring the shoulders forward. Oh, how good does that feel through that upper back? Stretch it out. Forward. Forward. Alternating side stretch and center. Other side. You don't have to go very far. I just want you to focus on getting that side stretch. Couple on each side stretch. Who doesn't love a good stretch in the morning? One more on each side, stretch. Last one. On this leg, circle your ankles. And now the other way. Back to the first way, circle. And other way. Now repeat on the other leg. Are you still sitting up nice and tall? Other way, circle. And again, reverse the circle. Other way. Alternating knee, lift, lift. So can you bring your thigh away from the chair? You bring it up. Keep going, option to add the opposite arm. Now, if it's too much to add the opposite arm, just keep raising the legs. Now this leg, lengthen and tap, lengthen and tap. As you lengthen your leg, can you squeeze your thigh muscles? Now, as you lengthen, you'll feel those muscles working. Now, do the same on the other side. Lengthen and squeeze. Are you still sitting up nice and tall in that chair? Spine is stacked. Crown of the head is lifted. Shoulders are relaxed. Now, bring up the arms forwards. Reach forwards. Reach. Reach, 
So we're starting off nice and easy. Want to make sure everything's warmed up. Now we're going to do this, but go up, up and down, up and down. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to repeat these exercises again, but we're going to pick up the pace a little. So we're going to come back to that reach forwards. Now you can go faster or slower than I am. Get that heart pumping. Now as we take the hands above the head, your heart will have to work harder. If you don't want to get that heart rate up too much today, just keep the arms down. Don't take them above the head so you can keep it out. Last two. And we march. Now come on, we want to get that blood pumping round the body. Wake us up for the day. Swing the arms. Now take it out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out. So we're getting a little bit of duction for the thighs as well now. If you wanted to keep the legs forwards, then you could keep it forwards. We add the arms. Let's wake up that brain. Arms and legs. Now this leg leading. Out and in. Last one, and we march. Now you can really pick it up. You can go for a run, or you can go for a stroll. So it's very much based on how you're feeling today. Hold those feet, bring out the arms, circle forwards. Arms are nice and long. And we feel some heat through the shoulders. If you can't bring your arms to the sides, do it with the arms down. And we reverse. Reverse. Are you still lifted through the crown of your head? Is your tummy nice and tight? Back to the mark. Come on, get those arms pumping. Pick up those knees. Swing those arms. And we're going to progress to some seated jacks. Out, in, out, in. If this is too much, go back to here. So we've set it up already by doing the step outs. You could repeat the step outs. If at any point we get to an exercise and you do not feel comfortable, if your balance feels compromised or any of your joints are hurting, sit it out. You can sit out any exercises that don't suit. Last set. Jack. So we go up. Squeeze the back as you pull in your arms. Movement feels good. And bring it in. Lift and lower the knee. Lift and lift. Lift. Can you feel how your core works each time you lift? Add the opposite arm. This leg only. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. So we're stretching. We're working the core. We're also getting the heart rate up because our hand is going over the head. Switch. Great job. Should be nice and awake now. Now the arms forwards. 
Now this time, we're gonna add a little twist. So can you see how I'm rotating through my core? If you don't want the twist, if you don't feel balanced enough, just go up, uh, just go out, sorry, without the twist. Now take it up, no twist. Now you can go slower or you can go faster. This is your workout today. If you go fast, that is gonna really increase that heart rate though. Forward with or without the twist. Keep your shoulders down, use your waist to twist. Twist. And relax the shoulders, heel, toe, heel. Heel, toe, heel. So we're alternating the leg. Working the calves, the muscles around the shins. And if you pick up those knees, you'll also work those quads. Now, if you can't lift the leg up, just keep it down. Do whatever feels good for you today. Last one. Now we're gonna do some standing and sitting down. Now, if you do not wish to get out of your chair, that is absolutely fine. If you're not getting out of the chair, I just want you to do some alternating leg extensions. As you extend the leg, squeeze the front of your thigh. Or you can slightly tip forward, weight through your heels, and stand up, and sit down. So these are done at your own pace. I need to move my chair back slowly, slightly, as it's gonna chop off my head as I stand. Four more. So don't feel that you have to go at my pace. Push through the heels, squeeze your glutes. All your leg muscles are working. Take a seat and back to the arms. Remember you can sit some of it out. If you're feeling breathless or you just need a little bit of a stretch, that is absolutely fine, guys. To take the heart rate higher, bring the arms up, up, and then get those legs as well. Now imagine that you're climbing up a rope. Climb up your rope. So the feet are going, the arms are going, or ignore the feet, keep the feet down and just, just do what you can. Keep going. We're gonna repeat the jacks or the step out. So I'm gonna remind you of your option. So option number one is a step out. Or you can bring in those arms. Or jack, jack, arms and legs. And if you wanna go faster, Go faster. Last set. Reach, 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 reach. Great job, reach. Hands on the shoulders, twist. Center, other side. So that will have got that heart rate up. So what we, when we get the heart rate up, we don't just want to stop. We want to let the heart rate come down slowly. Keep the twist if you're able to. Extend the arms out. And bring it down. Now just reach for your ankles. If you cannot get to your ankles or the tipping over makes you feel dizzy, just touch your knees and reach up. 
So you can go slow, knees, and reach. Or you can get a little lower. And you can speed it up. Just want to get everything moving. Last set. Last one. Now relax your shoulders, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Breathe in, exhale. Once more, and bring that arm across. Take a nice little stretch through the shoulder. And then bring the opposite arm across. Now as your chin comes into your chest, stretch through the upper back. Oh, that feels nice. Now imagine that I've just popped something in between your shoulder blades. Pinch them together to open the chest. If you can, get the hands behind, then go for it. And then just release. Take the head to one side. Pull the opposite shoulder down. And then tuck in the chin. And then drop it down to the other side. So you've got a lovely stretch through the shoulder. So hopefully we're feeling a little bit looser now. We're nice and warm. Ready to face the day. On this side, bring your toe forwards. Now you can either just reach the toe and pull it back. Or you can just literally bring that toe towards you. Feel the stretch down the back of your leg, through your calf. Repeat on this side. So bring it down. And now to stretch through the quads. You might need to shift to the side of your chair. And just bring your heel to your bum. Feeling the stretch here. And then shift over to the other side. Bring the heel up. Well done. I hope you enjoyed your workout today. So just make sure you grab a little drink now. Get up nice and slowly. If you feel that you need to stretch more, please feel free to stretch for a little bit longer if you need it. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Well done, everyone.